Becky arrested Finn and saved his hostage. Becky and her partner were promoted into homicide under Sergeant Riggs. Felicity took Finn's story to Judge Vanstone. She met him at the court that same day. Okay, that's exactly what we just read. Judge Vanstone refused to release Finn into police custody. Yup. Felicity invited Becky to her home to review the case files. Becky refused. Felicity reviewed the files on her own. I'm pretty sure we should have been admiring her. Oh, the hidden camera was behind the painting. Oh my god, this is exactly what we just read. <laughs> Yeah. And now, part two of Hidden Agenda. So now Becky might be in deep shit. Cause if everyone else has an alibi, and I hated Calvary. Uh oh. I'm the goddamn police though. Who the hell's gonna why would I kill somebody? Hey, Simon, how you holding up? Um, hanging in there. A lot of extra work whenever there's a freak on the loose, I guess. 24 hours. Okay, okay, guys, settle down, listen up. Hey, listen up. We lost a cop today. Another one won't be returning to active duty. And it could have been even worse. I know it's gonna be tough on all of us, no one here ever thought we'd see the day that Jack Calvary went down for the count. He, uh... Well, let's be blunt, he wasn't the kind to catch his flies with sugar. But he was one of us. And this atrocity cannot stand. Um, I'm curious about both. And I'm a little bit wary that they might think it's me, even though... I don't think I'm guilty, but I don't want them to think it's me. Excuse me, Sergeant. What's the latest on the witness? The call girl? We the prostitute. The out, and uh, one for this Adam Jones, too. We'll keep you a bit. And now we know Finn might not have been lying. Until we have reason to believe otherwise, we are treating this as a trapper copycat. It's entirely possible that Jonathan Finn is somehow pulling the strings from behind bars. We have District Attorney Felicity Graves here to help with the investigation. She is familiar with the Trapper's M.O. She's here to help. Please extend her every courtesy. Detective Marnie, I'm gonna need you to look into Calvary's old Trapper case files. We're looking for links here, anything we could have missed. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, sure, got it. Okay, time to get moving. Just remember, Jack Calvary is watching from whatever shithole he ended up in. Let's do him proud. Hi, Miss Graves. Call me Felicity. <laughs> how you holding up? It's tough losing one of the ranks, no matter how it goes down. But thank you for asking. Let you know if we find anything. Do we have a problem? What? Do you really think that I have something to do with this? What? Becky, come on. Oh, no, Tom, you come on. Uh, will you move, please? Why are you getting mad at him? I'm your partner. We have to be honest with each other. Honest? Fine, here's honest. Everybody knows about this beef between you and Calvary. Some of these guys, they don't think you're all there. You've got to start watching out for yourself. Tom, you're accusing me of murdering a fellow officer. Yeah. You had motive. What? I'm just doing my job. Motive? Anyone who doesn't like some guy has a motive? Come on, I'm a freaking servant of the law. You're my partner, Tom. How can I forget? We're supposed to be on the same side here. I'm not on your side because I'm your partner. I'm on your side because I'm your friend. And you got more around here than you realize. Why do you think Riggs put you on case review? He just wants me out of the way. Maybe. Or maybe he thinks you'll actually find something. 
Maybe the sergeant is fishy too. It's hard to tell at this point because we don't know anything about anybody. <laughs> Adam Jones was definitely at Las Palmas, same time as Finn. Allegedly died in the fire that shut the place down. Now, according to Finn, Jones grew up to be the trapper, but how can that be possible? Doesn't make sense. Let's investigate the orphanage. Orderly from Las Palmas? Huh. Yeah, let's look at the orphanage. If these killings are connected to the Las Palmas Orphanage, Father Rominski is at the center of it. It's just too bad that the rest of the clergy took a vow of silence the minute things started to get hairy for him. But Finn told Felicity that Rominski had some kind of secret room at the orphanage. Couldn't find any reference to this in the police records. I guess it's time for me to head over to Las Palmas and take another look. This is so heavy rainish. It's like the devs of Until Dawn made their own version of heavy rain. Okay, I gotta be on my toes. Hello? Okay, okay, I'm ready. The photo, probably. Yeah. The pause is so stupid, just... Oh, where's the last one? Oh, so close. What does it say? The father? And then Finn and Adam, I think? I don't know. Oh. There might be someone behind me though, be careful. Don't just start looking at the wall and, you know. Oh. Is, wait, what? Oh, this is the the playing room. Oh, hello, ladies. Looks like Father Rominski was a regular customer. Whoa. What? What did she see? Hey, who's 
someone back at the orphanage? I guess we're supposed to think it's Adam. Oh. Oh, where are we going? We're like going underground. Sweet. Gave up. <laughs> we are running out of time. We can investigate other things. First victim, Rupert Walsh? I don't know who that is. Orderly from Las Palmas. Hmm, I guess we'll just follow along the line of the orphanage. LeMay. Orderly at Las Palmas. In and out of the third precinct lockup for years, but known for his uncanny ability to avoid doing any real time. Seems likely that he knew people on the inside. If the third precinct cops were the trapper's targets, well, he connects both worlds. His brother, Vernon LeMay, works in sanitation downtown. I'm gonna pay him a visit. Sanitation, AKA garbage truck driver. have a little chat. Why is she investigating everything on her own? Whoa! Ugh. The 609 in pursuit of suspect. Party made foot bail. Guilty already? No way I'm letting this middle-aged guy beat me in running. Just want to talk. Calm down. What, what do you think I'm here for? Mr. LeMay, listen to me. You don't want to do anything stupid, no, okay? I don't got to do anything. No. I just want to talk to you. What the hell you want to talk about? Put the gun down. I just want to talk. Las Palmas Orphanage? I need your help. The sooner you cooperate, the sooner this little misunderstanding will be over. Why does he have a gun? No, he seems to be okay so far. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just gonna drop my weapon. Okay, see? Well, this seems like a bad idea. I wanna talk to you. Oh, God damn it. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you Anything say... ...can and will be used against me. Story of my life, lady. Yeah, let's go. Wow, he let himself be arrested, huh? Even though he pulled a gun out on an officer? I feel like that's gotta be a crime already to begin with. A 
ain't looking too good right now, Vernon. I guess low-life numbskull just runs in the family, huh? What? Quit dicking me around. This is about your brother. Oh! All right, um... Adam... Ugh, Finn is in jail right now, so I guess we will ask about Adam. Adam Jones. Ah. Uh, what can you tell me? Bro mentioned him once or twice. Said no matter how much he wailed on him, the kid would just look back at him with these big old dead eyes. Just taking it. Bro could do whatever he wanted, no matter how much the bastards complained. Cops weren't gonna touch their golden goose. Why is that? You know what? I think my mouth just got tired. The hell? I think it's time for my lawyer. What? I know my rights. Maybe we need to do some excessive measures here. Dirty cops ain't news, LeMay. You ain't got shit. Yeah, you gonna send me up the river? You better make a hell of a lot of extra room. Why is that? Because I'm taking half the police department with me. Oh, what does that mean? Let's be a bit... Let's go aggressive. You wanna keep fucking with me? Ah, hey! <clears throat> We're not done yet. Hey, get this crazy bitch off of me! Hey! Frankie! He was quite the ladies' man, huh? What? Always what? knew how to find a date. What? Ah. A girlfriend! Who was he seeing? No. no. Who was he seeing, numbnuts? No one, really. What does that mean? Well, he met some escort online. Show me some pics, like, you know, X-rated stuff. Last time I talked to him, he was setting up a date. So what, is that a crime? Last time I checked. Oh, Tom. Wait, so she arrested him, but then took him to a back alley to question him. <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm having trouble following this because they're giving me so many names here. Escort hookers again. Maybe there's something there. So that's about the orderly, right? The orderly who worked at the orphanage. And this guy was his brother. Jesus, Becky. Putting on quite a show. I almost had to jump in. Well, he was holding back. Just had to speak a language that he could understand. Good call. This stuff about LeMay and the guys in the third precinct, is that the... what you were dealing with back then? Teller was the ringleader over there. Kept his cards close to the chest. But I knew something was up. That's why I left. You have to tell someone about this. No reason to dig up the dead just to drag him through the mud. Yeah, I gotta keep that blue nice and clean, huh? We have bigger fish now, Tom. Less and less time. Can we still investigate? We got some hints there about how there's hookers. <laughs> Seriously, everything is going so fast. Back to the beginning. The Undertaker. The one target Finn had no clear motive to kill. No apparent connection to Las Palmas. Widow claimed to have no idea why Finn would want to kill her husband. Maybe five years have given her a fresh perspective. I'm going to go see if she wants to be chatty. Yes? Miss Johnson? What do you want? I'd like to speak to you about your husband. What are you, a cop? I ain't got nothing to say to you. Oh! What the hell is that? I'm not a cop. <laughs> she doesn't seem to like cops. No, ma'am, I'm not a cop. I'm a reporter doing some research on the Trapper case. Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea why the Trapper might want to harm your husband? He did more than harm that son of a bitch. He killed him. Tore his damn throat out and thank God for it. At least someone had the balls to put that scum in the ground. I would have liked to shake the Trapper's hand. Do me a favor. 
Wow. Well, I'm very sorry to hear that your husband treated you like that. Sounds like he had it coming one way or another. Yeah, one way or another. That all you wanted? I'd like to know if um, your husband ever used the services of a call girl. <laughs> what are you kidding? He suck his pecker in everything from high price spreads to gutter cleaners. I gave up keeping score. Ma'am, have you ever heard of anyone by the name of Adam Jones? A kid named Adam used to help my husband out sometimes before he lost his undertaking job, but that was a long time ago. Could this be him? Maybe just grown up a bit? Mmm, well, yeah, could be, yeah. Are you sure? Take a good look. Yep, I say that's him. Mm. Well, thank you for your time, Miss Johnson. Getting some good info here. Maybe Adam does exist after all. But it's not good because someone seems to be following me. They may be laying a trap for me next after Calvary. Detective Marnie? On my way to see Simon Hillary. At his house? After hours? Yeah. I'm really starting to think there's a connection here with the prostitutes and the trapper killings. Hillary might have some forensic evidence we've overlooked. Go easy on him, alright? He's pretty shook up from the fireworks this morning. It's just a few questions. It's no big deal. Hillary. Detective Marnie. Hello. I'm sorry to bother you at home. Oh, Jeez. the medical examiner. Come in. I can't believe how close I was to the... I can't even say it yet. You got lucky. You're telling me. Just another split second and... My God. Was it the trapper? You think he knows? <laughs> Don't dwell on it. You're alive, that's the important thing. Yes. Of course. Do you remember Las Palmas? The uh, orphanage, the case from a few years ago. Unspeakable. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing some digging. The father there, Rominski, seems to have a thing for the ladies of the night, which is starting to feel just like the Calvary case. And Walsh, the undertaker. Hooker, same thing, night of his death. That's just too many hookers to be a coincidence. Huh? Unless every single man in this town is a John. Well. I'm working on a new theory. It's just a sketch, but I think you can help me. All right. Was there anything you found that might point to the killer being a woman? Well, there was trace evidence. Yes, it's it's possible, certainly. Is that data still available? Of course. Uh, the records were archived when Finn confessed. Is he getting rattled? Are you all right? Sorry? It's this morning. I'm st still a little shaken up. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm. I don't know. Something's fishy. It's like we've got all these tidy little puzzle pieces, but the picture on the box makes no sense. Feeling like there's a lot more to this than just Jonathan Finn, you know? I'm not sure I do, detective. And now, this guy's fishy. The Calvary murder, maybe Finn's still a part of it, but... But what if someone else is pulling the strings? I'm suddenly feeling very unsafe again. Finn's Adam Jones apparently survived the orphanage fire, worked for The Undertaker, Trapper's first Vic. The widow even identified him from a picture. He is so rattled! Oh my god. I'm sorry, I am still feeling very foggy after the explosion. Let's look around his house. Follow! Sorry, just a moment, I'll get that all cleaned up. Wait, does wait for Simon mean look around his house? Because I want to look around. Oh! Oh! My apologies. I'm just, I'm still a little scattered. Don't worry about it. Here, let me help you. Sudden turn of events. Mm. 
All right. I've taken up way too much of your time. It's no bother. Really. Oh, I know that you didn't get to finish your evaluation at the crime scene. Is there anything that you may have missed? Well, I, I don't think so, but uh, this was no typical attack. Whoever Calvary was with, he probably knew them. You? Thank you for your time. What if he tries to kill me next? Because I know too much. That guy's weird. Okay, that was odd. Simon basically freaked out. And that hoodie, was he following me at the orphanage? My gut says that he's mixed up with this somehow. Time to do some digging. How is that related to Adam and all those things? You're really running out of time. Simon. Oh, whoa! What? Oh my god. It's not even the same guy. Oh! So the guy we know took his identity. I feel like you should tell some people about that, lady. Am I to believe that Simon might be Adam Jones then? After he supposedly died, he took on a new identity. 8.23 p.m. Revisiting the crime scene of Detective Jack Calvary's murder. Gonna have a closer look at the bedroom first. It's not that big of a place, but I always have to wonder if the forensic team missed something. Okay. A one? Two? Oh. Really close. Oh. Bloody mess. Marks spread outward on the headboard from the, um, the origin of the blast. Explosion was highly directional. If Simon did know about the bomb, it's possible he could have avoided serious injury. Forensics confirmed that the bullets were fired from Calvary's gun. But why? Hey. There's your camera. Now what is that? Ah, oh, so if we didn't mess with the painting. Bitch. It wouldn't have fallen down. Gotcha. But doesn't that mean the killer will come back and try to get it? If it was set up by him? Unless if it's just Jack. Oh yeah, I think he's just... Oh, okay, yeah, so he was just trying to record his own, like, stuff. Okay. <laughs> The prostitute killed him. But why? Okay, now this is just... Huh. Okay, now who's this? Simon.
What? Oh my god. That's from the orphanage. Dollars to donuts, that's the same hoodie I saw drying over Simon's washing machine. Shit. <laughs> wow. Well, I never thought I'd say this, but thank God Calvary was one perverted piece of shit. This is huge. <laughs> I better take it back to the freaking police station and tell somebody! Sound like a good idea to you? What? Is that the floorboards creaking, or... Somebody here? <gasps> Shit! Oh! <sighs> I almost missed that one. Hey! I can explain! Yeah, well, you damn well better. I will. I will, just... Could you start talking? I needed to know. Know what? About you. What were you trying to find out? I know you and Calvary had issues. It's putting it mildly. That's exactly my point. The inquiry? Jesus Christ. You two? I have to look at this from every angle, Becky. You know that. Okay, if you wanted Calvary out, then you could have used Finn's confession dependent on the trapper. That's opportunity and motive. You're right. And so is this oh right now. Oh, God. Please. Please, Becky. Who is it? Who am I? Who? I'm sorry. For you, for you to think that I could do this. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So Felicity was tailing me. Hmm. I guess I can't be the killer, right? Because I'm me. Okay, that's the end of part two. Hit the box when you're ready to move on. Oh, oh. Okay, well, we can look at the thing again. Oh! A mysterious figure kidnapped Judge Vanstone. Was that what was happening just now? Oh my god. Yeah, honestly, holy crap, they're spitting so many names out that sometimes I'm like, okay, who is that guy? Rupert Walsh? First trapper victim. Adam worked as his assistant. Okay. I feel like the story and everything is moving so fast that I'm not really getting a chance to deliberate on things. Like, am I solving the murder or am I just making a decision that may or may not lead to solving the murder? I just feel like there's not actually room for me to think about it that much. Yep. Becky went through Calvary's old case files. Found a suspect at the orphanage, but let him get away. We did get Vernon LeMay, though. So that was good. And he told us about the hookers and whatnot. Felicity. Suspicious of the police. She snuck into the crime scene to search for clues. I wonder if we could have, like, developed a better relationship with her so that we would work with her instead of her suspecting me. Jody Johnson. Oh, that's the, the widow lady. Rupert Walsh's wife, or a widow now. Simon is being weird. Simon appears to have stolen his current identity. The face in his college yearbook is not the same person. Uh, if you compare this to the picture of Adam, it's like the same kid, isn't it? Sort of. You can't really tell. The picture is really small, but seems like it. Vernon? Vernon's brother was killed by the trapper. LeMay. That was the... Um, yeah, his brother was the guy who worked at the orphanage, the orderly. At least two of the trapper's previous victims had connections with prostitutes. The prostitute murdered Jack Cavalry, but who was she working with? Simon? Walsh hired Adam Jones as an assistant. Walsh beat his wife and frequently used the services of prostitutes. Mm -hmm. Frankie LeMay. 
had an argument with the 3rd Precinct cops to cover for a drug-dealing racket. LeMay arranged to meet a prostitute shortly before he was murdered. Um, the father... hang on, if we scroll down here... Father Ruminski, he was abusing the kids at the orphanage, right? So what it's kind of looking like right now, if the murderer is really not Jonathan Finn, is that Adam Jones was being abused at the orphanage, and then like the abuse is somehow tying into the whole prostitutes thing, where he's killing all these victims that have to do with prostitutes. Yeah... Man, it's a little hard to keep track of all this, but um, I think the Ripple events, we're gonna see them if we go to continue, so we don't really have to read these things too in-depth. No. Stalker? Yeah. Let's move on. Judge Vanstone refused to release Finn. Jonathan Finn remained on death row. Becky found a hidden camera at the crime scene containing footage of Calvary's murder. Becky talked Vernon down and revealed that his brother was linked to corrupt cops. Becky found evidence that Father Ruminski used prostitutes. Everyone used prostitutes. Becky saw the person trying to follow her. And Simon had the same tracksuit. Hey, we're getting a good bit of clues here. Although I'm kind of expecting that there's huge divergences, depending on what we do. If we don't find these clues, maybe we'll find some other clues. I'm hoping anyway. And now, part three of Hidden Agenda. You still think it's me? Becky, I have to be honest, but it does kind of look like you, and that's not going to help your case. Who? Who looks like me? The prostitute in the video? <laughs> if that was me on the footage, then why would I show it to you? I mean, why wouldn't I just kill you back at the cabin? And you kind of almost did. Touche. The guy on that video? <laughs> in the hoodie? Same guy I chased earlier. You sure? Pretty sure. All right, so this hooker, she's working with the trapper. Why? She lures them and kills them and he sets up the trap? Uh, the thing that I'm stuck on, where did the hooker go? She goes into the bathroom and the hoodie guy comes out. I did some digging on Simon Hillary. What do you mean? I kind of took a peek at his personnel file. Took a what? Then I found his high school yearbook online. <laughs> Becky, are you sure that's a good idea right now? Not... it's fine, it's fine. Well, maybe it wasn't the safest move, but... Whatever. It was worth it. What'd you find? I found Simon Hillary. So? That's Simon Hillary. Wait, are... are you saying our Simon is not THE Simon? What if he stole this guy's identity? But how? The timeline fits. They'd be about the same age. And look, you can see a resemblance. Adam supposedly died in the fire, then pretty soon after, Simon Hillary starts his training. He's been following me since the briefing. Simon? Or Adam, I guess? Yeah. He knew I'd be looking into old cases, and that, with enough digging, they'd lead me right to him. Damn it. I'm not sure if there's enough here yet for a warrant. Mmm. Yeah, the tracksuit is not that big of evidence, is it? Uh, he did steal someone's identity, we can get him for that. And if we can prove he's Adam Jones... We can get him, we can get him. I know, but I can get this guy. We can get this guy. With your help. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves, let's just... Lay it all out first. Thanks. 
When Calvary was investigating the Trapper five years ago, he had one big blind spot. Prostitutes. The first target, the Undertaker. Met with a hooker the night he was killed. The second target, the orderly. Arranged a meeting with a girl, an escort, the night he was killed. Father Rominski had a thing for hookers. And now Calvary is killed by a hooker. At least someone dressed like one. If it is Simon, maybe he's using a hooker to lure his targets into a premeditated murder site. Or maybe there's just, maybe there's something we're missing. I just, I don't even know what to think anymore. I feel like everyone's out to get me. Don't worry, detective. You're safe with me. <laughs> sure. I'll cheers to that. It's Ripple. Simon knew Jonathan Finn started talking, and, and then he killed Calvary because he knew everyone would immediately suspect me. Throw them all right off the scent. <sighs> Christ. He's been right in front of our face this whole time. What? Felicity, what? Well, a search warrant for Simon's house is out of the question. But there is another way. Like? He knows you, so you could call him up for a drink, and while he's out here and you've got your eyes on him... Seriously? You want to break into his house? Well... Felicity, that's illegal. But we'd know for sure. That is kind of exciting. Let's do it, man. Go big or go home. We've already broken the law. Fuck it, let's get him. <laughs> okay, great. Temple bar. Ten minutes? Perfect. I'll be here. Bait's on the hook. Go fish. Hi, Simon. Oh, shit. What? We can't even record. No. Whoa. Oh, no. Is that the prostitute? How did she get me? I didn't drink anything yet. The one I had with Felicity? Oh my god. But I think Simon knows that we're onto him. Alright, then we really gotta find something here. Let's go, girl. Chop, chop. Wait, she broke in, but she walked in through the front door? <laughs> or was that the back door? Either way, she walked in the door. Okay. If I told you once, I told you a thousand times. No, investigate. It's a recording. There's no forgiveness. Oh my god, I thought that little round thing was someone's head. <laughs> Some weird brainwashing. You forgot there's only one thing sweeter than money, baby. Revenge. <gasps> this guy's trying to get revenge for the abuses he endured. What is that? Holmes? Shit. Time to go. Uh-oh. Did you even uncover anything? 
I thought we would have to do the whole like pointing around and looking for three things again. Uh oh, what? What is this? God. Holy crap. Okay, okay. Camera. Cop jacket. Oh, come on, that's a picture of Finn and Adam, right there. Oh no! He just leaves everything neatly lying around here. Thanks, man. <laughs> New recording from Becky's phone? Oh, that guy wiretapped me. So he knows I'm here then. What the hell? Okay, great. Temple Bar. Ten minutes? Perfect. I'll be here. See you soon, Simon. Okay, I think we better get going. We know it's him. We should go. Hide, hide. We can't flee now. Oh, but he knows that someone's here because it's open. But we couldn't flee either because we would have bumped right into him. Oh no. Someone else is here. When the hell did they even have time to drug me? What the fuck? Oh god! Oh shit! Judge Manstone? Oh fuck! Oh my god! Oh god! Oh. What, a, what, what did she do to me? What did she put inside me, goddammit? What? I don't know. Uh, Vance, don't I, um... What is it? It's the trapper. You're... You're, 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 you're rigged. I, uh, what? Oh, oh no. No, 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 no! Oh. It's probably an, an, an explosive and... Shit. Oh, oh, God! He stopped standing around then, we gotta go. Oh, he's been like, cut open. How's your head, Detective Marty? I'm coming for you. I know you did it. 
Oh! You killed everyone. There's no escape. You're the trapper, Becky. Who are you? It's Simon. Why are you doing this? I don't want to be afraid of him, though. Simon. I don't want to act horrified. I know it's you, Simon. Adam. I fucking know. Impressive work. I'm almost sorry no one's gonna get to know how good of a detective you are. Mom Felicity. If you will notice, there is a small heartbeat tracker on Judge Van Stone's wrist. It is synchronized to a cell phone that I have surgically implanted into his stomach. <gasps> it's inside! The phone is just a timer. But every beat of his heart knocks another second off. The faster his heart races, the quicker the clock. Now would you care to guess what happens when the numbers reach zero? Game over. For anyone in, say, uh, a hundred foot radius, give or take. Which will most likely include all the police who are swarming in to arrest you right now. Sometimes killing is the only option. What? You can try to run, but I can't promise you I'm not gonna pop that balloon a bit early. And there's enough explosives in there to level the whole floor. Jesus Christ. I left your fire on for a reason. Stop his heart. Stop the timer. You can't be serious. I can be whatever I want. You can be alive or you can be dead. That's your choice. Oh my Honestly. god. There's gotta be another way. I'm not killing what him. What did he say? Are you gonna get me out of this? I'm a cop. I can't kill him. We gotta stay. What did he say? Could you get me out of this, please? If we flee, we'll be branded as the killer. Whoa! Whoa, no! I'm really sorry about this. What? Shit. Wait, 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 wait! Shit! <laughs> Don't! No, 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 no. Please. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Find a solution! Uh, fuck! I can't... Stop sitting around here! I can't do it! I can't... Oh god... Oh god... Thank you... You did it once before! Look around! Find a way! You've wasted two minutes by sitting here Thank already! You. God, stay. Please, 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 just stay. Stay calm, stay calm. I, 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 I... Oh, shit. If the timer reaches zero, then we're both dead. How much time? Not that much. We can't lie. But the calmer, the calmer you are, more time that we'll have to figure this out, okay? So stay calm. It's not. So if you oh take God. this out of me, it can't hurt me, right? You gotta get it out of me. Operate on him. We didn't come this far to flee now. There's only no, 20 seconds! No, please! Ah, I can't take it! Ah. <gasps> oh my god. Come on. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> How? <gasps> oh no. Wait, did he die? What the hell? 
What? You have five missed calls. Contacts. Oh, Felicity, Tom never trusted me. Felicity Graves. Come on, come on, come on, pick up! Oh shit, oh shit, but she's at the house! No! I forgot! <gasps> if the phone rings while she's still here. Oh no! Please have your phone on silent. Fuck! Fuck! Dumbass. Oh, why would you go upstairs? Oh, come on. Let's break the window. Break the window. Window, window, window. Oh. No. No. Felicity, I am so sorry. I forgot you were in the house. No! I really should have called Tom. I really needed to have done that. Tom, 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 listen to me. Yes! I got a lead on Simon. I'm headed out the fire escape. You've got to call him off. You have to trust me. Then SWAT's coming in. Go. Now. Oh, you fucking done it. Oh my god, Felicity. We gotta go save her. Shit. I fucked up. I really fucked up. But what about the judge? Do we even care anymore? <laughs> I don't know if he was dead or not. We'll check the bio later. Oh shit. What? What? Becky, oh my god, I swear to god, you gotta go save her, alright? I did her dirty. Freeze! Don't move! Don't. Move. Huh. You got me. A match. Lighter. Simon. You've gotten what you want, haven't you? You don't know what I want. You want revenge on the people who hurt you. And Johnny? He was never supposed to go down for this. Drop the knife. Just come in. Confess and it will all be over. You've got what you wanted. No, Detective Marnie. What we wanted was a future. We never had one. And thanks to you, we never will. Uh, okay, we're just gonna let him leave. <laughs> but we saved her, right? She has no bomb. We just let him leave. Freeze! Oh! 
Wait, 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 don't shoot. That crazy bitch is trying to kill me. Simon, on your knees, now. Please, please arrest her. She's crazy. <laughs> it's Simon. He's a liar. He's the trapper. He was going to kill me. The voice acting. On the floor. Now. What? <laughs> that guy's not even combat trained. Oh. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can or will be used against you in a court of law. Was that it? What's happened up until now? Oh, get out of the way, trophy! I don't have a good alibi. Her partner refused to call off the SWAT teams. I had a drink at the bar, and then I woke up next to Judge Vanstone's trapped body. Becky alerts Simon to the bar. Felicity broke into his home. Felicity found evidence that Simon is a trapper. Yeah, Felicity hid inside Simon's basement. Simon caught her. Okay, let's go, let's go. Earlier today, Judge William Vanstone was kidnapped from his home on the east side of the city. He has since been rescued and is back with his family recovering. Detective Marty escaped the scene and then proceeded to invade the home of Simon Hillary, a forensics <laughs> medical examiner with the local police. Detective Becky Marnie has been investigating Hillary in connection to the murder of Detective Jack Calvary. Simon Hillary, a forensics medical examiner with the local police department, has been arrested. According to files we've obtained from an anonymous leak within the police force, <laughs> Detective Marnie was implicated in the notorious 2012 Trapper killings. Previously attributed to Jonathan What? Finn. An investigation is ongoing. <gasps> Sergeant Riggs made a brief statement to the press only moments ago. They think I'm the killer? Oh my god, but we already got Simon. They can work it out from that, can't they? What the hell? All of us on the force are very grateful to Detective Marnie. Thanks to her tireless efforts, the trapper has finally been brought to justice. Thank you. We never suspected Simon Hillary. He fooled us all. Well, not all of us. <laughs> not my partner. Shut up. You didn't even believe me. Becky Morney saved my life. She should get a goddamn medal as far as I'm concerned. How did she even, like, cut the phone out? Oh my god. Do you know someone named Simon Hillary? Wow. Graves, can you tell me what you were doing in Simon Hillary's house? I was looking for the truth. Police weren't. And someone had to do what was right. Anything else you want to add about Adam Jones? My only regret is that I didn't nail that son of a bitch five years ago. So tell us, Mr. Jones, why did you do it? <laughs> All right. Do we want to take a look at the logbook in the meantime? Yeah. Adam Jones and Simon Hillary are the same person! <laughs> Becky got kidnapped. Tried to frame me, but I was too smart. I wonder what would have happened if I didn't call Felicity. She would have just been able to get out, and <laughs> instead it turned into that whole thing at the end there. Yeah. Well, I'm glad it all worked out, although none of that was legal at all to begin with. What?! The prostitute must be Simon Hillary in disguise. What?! 
So you're saying in the Calvary video, Jack was making out with Simon in drag, and then he put on a hoodie? <laughs> what? I don't... No, someone please explain this to me. I don't understand. And holy god. Is that how many biographies we haven't seen still? There's so many people here. What the hell? Spy cam. We found the spy cam. Good thing we touched... Thank the lord we touched that painting, huh? I didn't have an alibi, but it didn't matter anyway because I saved the day. Vernon revealed his brother's links to the corrupt cops. Yeah. Hookers, hookers, hookers. Simon was too rattled for being a, a cold-blooded killer, really. Yeah. Becky got taken. Becky lured Simon to the bar so that Felicity can find evidence. Felicity hid inside Simon's basement. Simon would not have caught her if I didn't freaking call her like an idiot. <laughs> and that seems to be it. Oh, okay. Well, um, interesting little title, although my thoughts on it are pretty mixed. The motion capture and the facial animation, that stuff was all top notch, but I don't think I can say the same thing about the script. Was this entertaining? Yeah, I think so. It was great to look at, and it was fun to, you know, flick around my phone to make choices and whatnot. But the whole phone thing was a great detriment to paying attention because I was constantly switching my gaze between looking at the phone and looking at the monitor so it's like, I don't know, makes it really easy to miss things. And that's on top of the fact that the story was going by at hyperspeed too. Seriously, every time they mentioned somebody's name, I was like, uh, okay, who's that again? They introduced like, what, 10 characters in the past hour? So I think that's a makes it really difficult to keep up with. Things were developing really fast, on top of the fact that nothing really made much sense if you think about it a little bit. Like the whole legal process that they portrayed here was just... Like, would the prosecutor ever be phoned by the defendant's lawyer and be asked by them to speak with their client? I don't claim to be an expert on the legal process, but I feel like that's not how it works. And also the fact that, you know, uh, Felicity went up to the judge and was like, Please, can we, can we just pardon him for a few days? Like, <laughs> okay. That ending, even after reading the logbooks and the biographies and whatnot, I don't feel like... Did we ever get any explanation for why Simon was doing any of the stuff he was doing? There's something there about being abused at the orphanage and then something about prostitutes, but that was pretty much it. And okay. Even at the end there, during that interview, he said nothing. What was that about? Don't get me wrong, the chase scenes and the thriller parts, like oh my god, the phone being inside that guy's stomach. Those scenes are all really cool. But I feel like at the end of the day, I didn't care about any of the characters, really. I basically knew nothing about all of them. It just kind of feels like the whole thing was way underdeveloped because it was so short, because they were so afraid. That's what it felt like. They were so afraid that they made a game that's too long, that a group of people at a party would not be able to finish playing in one sitting. Which I think is really dumb, because if your game has a good story, people will make time to play. And I would be willing to bet that most groups of people, if they play it once, they're not gonna want to play it again. So I'm not really sure if it matters all that much that you boast that this game has really high replayability. Now, of course, we haven't seen anything yet, but um, I have seen some promotional footage that I didn't even see in my playthrough here. So I think there is a lot of different stuff that can happen. I wish they just went full heavy rain or until dawn 2 or whatever and just made a eight to 10 hour long story. God, you know what this sort of reminds me of? United Front Games making Triad Wars instead of Sleeping Dogs 2. I'm pretty sure Sony paid them a lot of money to make a game based around their app. Ah, oh, well to be fair, all we looked at right now is single player mode, so it's basically like playing Until Dawn or Heavy Rain again, but with an inferior mobile technology thing going on. 
but what it's really meant for and the name, the name of the game, Hidden Agenda. If you've seen the promotional footage, you see that um, if you have multiple people playing, sometimes players get the hidden tasks, hidden agendas, to carry out certain actions, even if it's against the majority of the group's thinking. So there's a lot of like backstabbing and betrayal like in any party game, I guess. But I haven't played it yet, so I can't really comment on that. But what I can say is that I feel like they tacked on single player mode just to say they have one, but it's really not the focus of the product at all. Bit of a shame. I really would have liked to see something closer to the vein of Until Dawn. But um, yeah. Money, man. Money makes the world go around. And Supermassive is also working on that PSVR game right now, right? Impatient. Another game advertising for another one of Sony's technologies. Is Supermassive a first-party Sony studio? I don't think so, right? Let me look it up right now. No, they're not. So I guess they must be paid a lot of money for this then. And they had that Until Dawn like VR thing too, right? Ah, uh, is this so much to ask for? Something like Until Dawn? Hmm. I do want to try out party mode, but that's something that um, requires people, other people. So it'll take me a while before I can try that out. And even then, I don't think it's something I can record because I don't have that sort of setup. But if I do play it, I do want to come back and let you all know what I thought of it because if the single player experience was not the greatest, I hope the multiplayer hidden agenda stuff really adds something to it. But you know, the problem, the big problem here is that the story, the ending is so unsatisfying. So I don't know if that will... Well, I'll let you know what happens when I get around to party mode. Yeah, I'm sort of interested in going through this again by myself one more time just to see what additional scenes there are if the replayability is really as high as they say it is. Maybe this time we can get Becky going to Felicity's house because we know that's the main thing we're trying to do here, right? No? Oh. Uh. I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>